could you imagine that for a team? Luis Suarez and Kevin Keegan up front, hustling and bustling. You know, Keegan there. Basically, Keegan, Keegan's like an Anthony Joshua, isn't it? He? He's like a manufactured footballer, isn't he? Like Joshua's a manufactured fighter. Same as Cristiano Ronaldo, he's manufactured, isn't he? In his style and that. Whereas you look at somebody like Messi, uh, Suarez, Robbie Fowler, they're like naturally, aren't natural people, aren't they? Robin, remember him, Robin, on wing for Chelsea. I used to rate him. He ended up going to Bayern Munich, didn't he? What a player he turned out to be. Go on, get out of the way, dear. Pheasant there. Have that for me dinner. By the 2 2 air gun. Uh, i tell you what i tell you what is a nice house up here that I like Look at mud here man oh, Look at that there for a the gaff Look at that there, that's nice isn't it It's made out of logs It's made out of logs that Unbelievable Clifton Alapaz Alapac socks for sale. Well, nice that you go. I thought you only got stuff like that in Alps or something. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? A bit like Ali's training camp, isn't it? Shout out to Glim Roads. They went to Muhammad Ali's training camp in America. Took little Tommy Frank. Little Tommy. Which one's Billy Bemmers now? I think it's this one, isn't it? One of my mates in local pub did his fence and he gave him a big tip. Old Billy. But what a player though, Billy Bremner. What a player. What a player. Did you see that with Dean Saunders? Hello? Hi. You alright? You have, to be, you have to be nice to people around here, don't you? Otherwise they just bring police and gear registration and somebody shady driving about. But no, uh, I'm hoping that Martin J. Ward gets a title shot soon. He's my one of my favourite fighters that they've got. And I'd like to see Eddie do something with Jamie McDonnell now because obviously he's on the slide now, isn't he? But it looks like he's gone off at boil a bit, doesn't it, Jamie? He's lost a bit of momentum. But nobody can deny that Jamie McDonnell has got more world title wins than any other fighter, I think, isn't he, in England? In the last 10 years? If you don't count Frotch, I think he's got the most, hasn't he, Jamie McDonnell? Most world title wins. I think Frotch has got 10 and he's beat 10 champions. I think Jamie's beat about 5, hasn't he? World champions. He's got seven, six or seven wins if you count the WBA regular belt. But his record is not to be sniffed at at all. Speaking about sniffing, how you doing, Gibbo? Know you're watching. Hope you're well. Nice to see you yesterday. But. All in all, I'm not very happy about the pay-per-view at all. Not very happy at all. I think it's a joke. I think that... Well, we've covered it, haven't we, so we don't need to speak about it again. I've said what I've said on it. You know, I've done, I've done my bit. It's up to everybody else now. People can't complain to me and then go buy it. You do your art, don't you, in this world? I mean, if you're going to do that, complain about it, and then go buy it, I mean, you're not a man of your word, are you? It's like, uh, it's like I've been I've been invited to Dennis's do one I at Ricky Hatton, an evening with Ricky Hatton at Matlock Town Football Club. I'm like that whether I'm going to go, you know, because how could I sit on that top table with Dennis? And all them knowing that Ricky Hatton, after winning four tight, were four world title fights with Dennis on trot, and and moving into a different weight division and winning a world title. After doing that, wants to get the Mayweather bounty, and 
Dennis didn't want him to take that fight. He they uh, he left, didn't he? And it's fair enough. You know, it, it looks like they're blaming dad, don't they, and all that. But what balls has he got, Ricky Atten, to turn up and do an evening with and get thousands of pounds after doing that? Where's, is, has nobody got no morals on that? So, I don't think I'd be able to go, I mean, he might be a nice guy, Ricky Atten, but I don't think I'd be able to sit there and be nice and all that. I don't think I would. I think I'd spoil the evening. I don't think I could interview him, knowing that he'd done that to me pal, left him. So I couldn't do it with Jamie McDonnell. Dennis is not going to have an evening with Jamie McDonnell, is he, in 10 years? I couldn't do it with that, so why would I do it with Ricky Hatton? Because Ricky can blame his dad? No, no, I don't think I'm going to go. And it can cause problems, can't it? And this is what boxing does, it divides people, doesn't it? It divides teams, doesn't it? So, I don't think I can. I don't think I could. Plus, if I had a picture took with him or all like that, people would be like, ah, oh, I bet they were on it. I bet they were off the reds. So, no matter what people think, I should just go and enjoy myself, but I don't think I can. I don't think I could. And I think I'll just set it down, not then I think I'll spoil the evening. So it's best I don't go. And then you don't get anybody to jazz it up a bit with camera, does it? So then it has a knock-on effect, doesn't it? Because Dennis will probably say, well, could you do it for me and just try and behave and not have a drink, Ross? And then you'll then you'll not say what you really think. But I don't I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. And plus, you know, if I were getting a bit awkward, it'd be a bit awkward and for Dennis and Ricky and it probably show Dennis up so maybe I shouldn't go or maybe should I just put it to one side I don't know you have to be careful who you speak to don't you and stuff like that See, I, he hasn't done no wrong to me has he I can speak to my pal who I've just spoke to and I said well Ricky's not done no to you has he which is chewing it he hasn't and if Den's foolish enough to have him on at his show so be it but why would I want to help promote something like that do I put my friendship with Den first or what? I don't know. There's people that, that he don't like and I like and vice versa, isn't there? He has people ringing him up. I've even heard it. One person rung up. And I know I heard you, you piece of... <laughs> what you got him around you for? He's a crazy man, Dennis. He takes drugs and he's been in jail. <laughs> hey? He's crazy. He's been in Nick. It's a car thief. It's a car thief! I don't know if you see on that video the other day, the lady on the next table, I know you're watching, and we had a laugh about it, didn't we? She goes, you're Russ Hartley, aren't you? You're him who did that cop, aren't you? God. Dennis has gone like that. I don't know. Went wrong lane here. Went wrong lane, aren't I? I'm gonna get my misters on here. Oh, it's only an old biddy, I'll blow her away. She's online. But yeah, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's, uh, I don't know, so I'm going to have to have a think about it. And then, of course, there's the drink driving. Think, it do's like that, right? There's the drink driving. I'm not going to be stopping out there, Matlock, in an hotel, 100 quid job. So it'll be driving, won't it? So if I'm drinking, I can't drive. You laid a love. If you're not fast, you last. Won't get any grip then on road. Yellow light flashing there. Of a skiddy car, I don't know what that means. Every time I go quick when I set off, there's this car that looks like it's sliding, a photograph, and it's flashing. I have to ask Gibbo what that means. Well, it does it when it's wet. But now I don't know if I'm going to go, but. Uh, and then there's my pal Frank, who is going to be a cameraman. It's going to spoil it for Frank, isn't it? Not all it camera, because he probably want to meet Ricky Atten. So I'm sort of like, I might just go and drink, not drink out, do my interview, think of my channel and go home and be professional. I don't really want to get involved in all that socialising crap, because it's all fake crap, isn't it? It's all fake. Fake, fake, fake crap. Yeah, here's my number. Give me a ring in week. 
Do you know what I mean? It is what it is, Porky, isn't it? Oh, it's a business, isn't it, Porky? You know it's a business. You know, if I had a quid for every time I'd heard that, I could have had an air transplant, could I? So, I don't know how I'm going to play it, but either way, I'll do what's best for me, won't I? That's all you can do, isn't it, really? Have I got any baby wipes in it? Got loads of subitex, no baby wipes. But, I don't know. You know what I found in my wardrobe today? Some flared jeans and they fit me. But they're flaring. They're like, well, if I went into a pub in them now, I'd get ripped. So you say you, you come at fancy dresses somewhere. Well, you want at Jackson 5. So, I'm thinking about getting them tucked in. These jeans don't mean no to me. I'm not like Steffi Bull wearing 200 quid jeans. What's all that about? I've got 200 quid jeans, me, Porky. I'm not a flashlight, Steffi. I'm a, I'm a, a, I'm a Asda man. I've got Asda for my jeans. As long as I can get in them, it's all right. But I don't want to be hovering, stood hovering about. Do you know what I mean? That's no good, is it? God, this heater's red hot. But, we'll see, won't we? But, I think what we'll do today, because... I haven't really got much material now. So I'm gonna try some. Once I start being able to edit, like tie on boo and stuff like that, there's gonna be some surprises in store. You think he's funny? But he is funny actually, but not my cup of tea. And he won't be coming on channel for them people who keep asking me. I'm not against him, he might be a decent kid. He's trying his best, so you've got to respect him. But I can't. I can't have him on channel, I can't, I can't have him on channel, but he, like I said, he's doing really well, isn't he, and you've got to give him full credit, if anybody who has a go, to be honest with you, I think he'll regret it in years to come, not boxing, because, like I said, he had you banking all sorts of trouble, didn't he, and his fitness let him down, and that's another thing, isn't it, taking fights at short notice, I suppose you could say you should have been ready, shouldn't you? Like Galahad's always ticking over, isn't he? But it's hard to get motivated some for some fighters, isn't it, if they've not got a date. And I were actually cheering for him when he fought Eubank. Because Eubank's surrounded by hype and he's manufactured. What? Bye! Trying to nudge me there, man. Yes. Now I am. Obviously, you heard about me now because he's turned off. Hashtag cringe. But now, uh, everybody's looking forward to my Steffi Bull video this Thursday. The man behind the mask. <laughs> Be solicitors let us flying about on Friday. You know what I am if you want to serve it, Steffi. <laughs> well, sometimes you just got to say things. I might even be hanging my scent when I'm going to come out with, but it's done and dusted now, so that's it. It's all ready to go Thursday 6 pm. Uh, so let's see. I don't know how they're going to, I don't think they can get it stopped now, can they? They can go through YouTube, can't they? But, I think it's going to be hard. But like I said, it's me now at the helm, so they've got to sue me. And what are they going to sue me for? That's what Richard Towers is driving now. 350 ml. Not bad. Not bad, driving a 350ml, nice company car that, for you to, of uh, Steve Crump in it, and Dan. Not a bad car them actually, they are alright. Richard, you're a terrible driver though, you drive too quick. You should go steady like Porky. I might even call up to the gym actually, this week, see how they're doing, him and Cash Alley. And lives down here, Cash. Dennis reckons he's going to win a British title. So, we're going to get him in with Dave Allen, don't we? Dave Allen against Cash Alley. I mean, 
if Dave's got his head screwed on and he turns up in shape on it, mentally right, he's an handful, isn't he, Dave? He's easily British level, but as it stands at the moment, Dave's all bashed up and knocked about and that, isn't he? And he's upset somebody at match room, I've heard now, so I don't know. I feel sorry for him. I think that they've used Dave Allen and let him have his 15 minutes and now they've discarded him like rubbish. That's what I think, because when he turned pro with us, he was 6-0 in a draw. So he left after seven fights undefeated. And now what's happened? Look well, what's happened now, he's been bashed about. If, he could have been another Clinton Woods. He could have gone through levels if he'd, have, if he'd have been a bit more patient with his career. Could have been reaping the rewards in about two or three years from now. But I think once he'd had that defeat against Ortiz, he wasn't bothered then, he just wanted to just go in. Uh, I feel for him because in years to come he's going to be slurring and he? he's going to be like Riddick Bow in here. Have you ever Riddick Bow, Meldrick Taylor, James Tony? Have you heard them people now? James Tony's supposed to be slick. Frotch will be like that in years to come. He's had punishment, hasn't he? Had hard fights. I hope he isn't though. I hope he isn't. But. <laughs> so, one of them things, in it. 16 minutes. Oh, I'll go down with this shit. What are you doing? Where are you parking, love? things in it it's uh, one of them things I'm afraid let's see if I can sort this out now Good job of it, honey. No, you're all right, love. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to move it forward? Do you want me to move it forward? Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah he's made a good job of that, hasn't he? All right. Going all right. No, no. I'm just still finishing off this video. I've just had it washed. If you want to buy it, though, you can buy it. Make me an offer. 